These exercises chosen will ensure you to have an effective and efficient workout that maximizes your time, conditions your body to gain strength, burns extra calories, and tones your muscles. These top five exercises can be done in circuit format with minimal rest between each exercise. You'll perform 10 to 15 reps per exercise, one to three sets depending on your timing, and plan to do these exercises at least two to three times per week. Now let's learn those five top exercises to include into your next workout. The first exercise is a lateral lunge followed by a curtsy. Place the incline at a low level. One foot is on the floor and the other is placed onto the glide board. You will extend the leg, keeping it straight. Bend the supporting leg, keeping your nose, your knee, and your toe in line to form a lateral lunge. Go as low as you can, trying to form 90 degrees with the bent knee. Do this exercise 10 to 15 reps. And then you'll swivel away to perform the curtsy. As you drop down, the glide board goes up the rails, the knee and the toe stay in line, and you perform the curtsy. Be sure to do this exercise on both sides. The next exercise is step up, inner thigh, outer thigh, leg sweep. Place your incline at a medium to a high level. One foot gets placed off on top of the glide board. The higher the foot position, the harder the exercise. Come into a step up and sweep the leg across to activate the inner thigh. Then, extend the leg up to the side to activate your outer thigh. You'll alternate this motion between inner thigh, outer thigh, activation. The faster that you go, the more cardiovascular challenge you'll have. Be sure to do this exercise on both sides. Next, lower your incline down to a low position for push-up, pike-up, frog pulses. For a modified position, you can drop your knees to the glide board, but I'll demonstrate the more advanced position. Your hands can be either narrow, triangle, or wide to activate different parts of the muscle. Place your hands at the bottom base, extend the legs, opening up through the glide board. You'll do one push up, one pike up. Alternate this movement. Once you've done your 10 to 15 reps, you'll close the glide board, placing your hips down, bend your knees, and heels are together. Press the heels up towards the ceiling, lifting the thighs off the glide board to activate your hamstrings glutes, and lower back. Next, connect the cable to the glide board. Place your incline at a low to medium level, depending on your strength, for surfer row, bicep curl. Grab the cables, anchor down to a kneeling position, stretch first, and then extend through your spine to activate the upper, middle, and lower back. Once you've done 10 to 15 reps, you'll stay in a straight spine for bicep curls. To make this a different challenge, you can alternate the two exercises. One surfer row, one bicep curl. And the last exercise is pullover crunch followed by isometric twisted hip lifts. With the cables connected, have your incline at a low to medium level depending on your strength. Take the cables in your hand and come down to a supine position with your feet on the glide board. Extend through the arms, simultaneously bring them down towards the glide board and crunch the upper body. For more of a challenge, bring the knees up. To take this one step further, extend through the legs, pressing the lower back down into the glide board. Once you've done 10 to 15 reps, you'll hold the arms out, static weight, and then you'll bend the knees and twist them to the side. Bring the legs up as you lift through the hips to activate through your obliques. Be sure to do this exercise on both sides. And those are the top five exercises that you can incorporate into your fitness routine. It'll definitely give you the most bang for your fitness buck. to gain 